And the recent TB scare is renewing concerns about safe air travel. Here in the Bay Area, a man infected with measles flew through San Francisco just last week, raising questions of whether he put fellow passengers at risk. KTVU's Rita Williams live now at SFO with more. Rita? Gassia, this latest case here at San Francisco Airport started out quite differently than the Georgia man with TB, but the end result, potentially exposing passengers to a contagious disease, is the same. According to public health officials in Oregon, a 21-year-old man arrived here at SFO on Tuesday, May 22nd on United Flight 838 from Japan, where there's a measles outbreak, went through customs, and then boarded United Flight 6406 for Eugene. The big difference here, this man was not on a no-fly list. He apparently did not know he was contagious at the time, infected with measles, but not showing a rash or other symptoms. It wasn't until last Saturday, four days later, that he went to a hospital in Eugene where doctors diagnosed him with a highly contagious disease. And public health officials there are now contacting anyone who may have been exposed to him there who does not have immunity to measles. And they say they've asked the CDC to do the same with passengers who sat near him on the two flights. But it's worth remembering that measles causes pneumonia in six out of a hundred people who catch that disease. Pneumonia can be very serious. Pneumonia kills babies. Pneumonia kills people who are in not good health, who are immune compromised. But what about people who may have come into contact with a man here at San Francisco Airport? Spokesman Mike McCarran says it would be impossible to contact everyone here that day, but... If you don't feel well, you travel here at the airport on that day on May 22nd, Go ahead and get checked out by your doctor just to make sure that uh, you weren't infected. But uh, once again, according to the CDC, the chance of transmission is very, very remote. Symptoms for measles are common. Fever, runny nose, and cough. A Bay Area travel attorney told us how he tries to prevent contracting airborne diseases on planes. First thing is you can take your handkerchief, put it in water, and put it over your nose and mouth. It's better than the surgical mask. Now, attorney Alexander Anlick says you can also ask to move if you're seated next to somebody who's coughing or sneezing. Reporting live at San Francisco Airport, Rita Williams, KTVU, Channel 2 News.